we, we have some rings and some additional songs that we use, for example, when someone die, when happens something bad in the community, we play, for example, the drones in a particular way. Okay, y la segunda. Uh, today we are headed on a, what they call a freedom tour to Palenque. Palenque is the uh, free slave town. Of course, I'll explain more of it once I get more information about it, but uh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, actually, I'm gonna be heading to the hotel over there in just a second. Let me show you what I'm looking at right here. This is the ward in the morning. And I have to admit, guys, this is the first time I've, I'm saying to myself, man, it's kind of chilly out here. Now, chilly is about, it's about 75 degrees, but it's no humid. It's not humid. Humid, excuse me. It's like a little breeze. And I did hear thunder for a minute there. So I don't know if it's just raining somewhere else, not here. But, uh, no, it's not cold, but you know, every morning, you know, since I've been here, it's been really warm and humid. So this is actually kind of chilly, <laughs> you know, even though it's 75 degrees. So uh, anyway, all right, I will pick back up and kind of take you with me on this uh, journey to Palenque. I hope you will enjoy it. And uh, I would definitely uh, pick back up, but don't forget to like, Subscribe, comment, click that notification bell for the next video. I'm trying to share as much as Cartagena. You know, this place is really just a place you come and relax. So it's, it's a lot here, but it's mostly centered around beaching and having fun in the water, which is not a bad thing. So anyway, I'll pick back up once I get on the uh, tour bus. Here's like a short, quick history before we actually get to the town. The village of Palenque de San Basilio has a population of about 4,000 inhabitants and is located in the foothills of the Montes de Maria, which is southeast of Cartagena. The word Palenque means wall city, and the Palenque de San Basilio is one of many wall cities that were founded uh, by escaped slaves as a refugees in the you know, 17th century. Of the many Palenques of escaped slaves that existed previously, San Basilio is the only one that survived. The village of San Basilio is inhabited by mainly Afro-Colombian, which are direct descendants of African slaves brought by the European during the colonization of the Americas and have preserved their ancestral tradition and have developed also their own language, Palenquero. Palenquero, that's the name of the language. In 2005, the Palenque de San Basilio, our village was proclaimed masterpiece of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity by UNESCO. You know, Palenque is about an hour away from Cartagena, so let's explore Palenque. Is that record? No, 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 no.
call the lengua palenquera. It's the language of, called palenque. Yeah. Si, si. It's, it's, it's a means of Portuguese or Spanish and Bantu. Bantu, from, okay. From Africa. Okay. As you can see, there is something written in lengua palenquera. What do you think that means? There are some words similar to Spanish. You talking about what's written here? You yeah. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> How do you think that means? Uh, I. Trump, yeah. I mean, it's, you say it's similar to Spanish. I know a little Spanish. I don't. <laughs> uh, send, send the memo. About freedom. Okay. I mean, I was going to look at the guy and say freedom. Yeah. yeah. And just assume that's what it meant. It means that our ancestors yeah. fought hard for our freedom in okay. the facts. Okay. And now we have to continue working for that. My ancestors sued to Atrompia por libertad suto. Ten que hacerlo por sendalo memo. What? Cemetery. Oh, cemetery. Yeah. oh wow. Okay. Maybe you're asking why the cemetery is at the beginning of the town. That's because we think that people in Palenque, when they pass away, when they die, yeah. they go to an, a new world. And they meet with their families that passed away for a long time ago. And they are our protectors. If it's coming something back to the community, they can protect us. For the reason the cemetery is at the beginning of the town. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. In lengua palenquera is palengue. Okay. In Spanish is palenque. Ah, si, si. Without you, palengue. Okay. As you can see there. Okay. This is kind of like the map of the area? Yes. Okay. Is this the whole town right here? Oh, there's more? No, there's more, it's more. Ah, okay. Some of them pass away. Okay. It's like a one family. Because everybody knows each other. Okay. Maybe you have a problem at your home, you don't have food or something like that. Okay. Your neighbor help you. Even in Berlin, they are friendly. I wonder, does it get, uh, yeah. does it flood in its area? Yes. It does, okay. Okay. But the sound, the, the sound here is hotter than Cartagena. I was wondering, I was concerned was it going to be hot, but it's, <laughs> we're lucky today, right? Yeah, today is better. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, let's show what? Look at that house. That's a traditional house from Palenque. People in the past used to have their, their house. Almost everybody in Palenque. Oh. It's made with natural materials, palm tree, and cow stone. But now it's different. Now it's different because some people are changing their house for a modern house. Okay. Or something bad for, for the culture. Every day in the past. What does it mean right here? Posarima Monacito, Cu Monacita. Monacito. Monacito. See. It's kid. Ah, okay. It's a boy. If you want to say, for example, how are you? You have to say, Kumo Kusa Ta. Kumo Kusa Ta. Kumo Kusa Ata. Kumo Kusa Ata. And you have to respond, Kusa Ta Bien. Kusa Ta Bien. Ta Bien is fine. Kuba Ta. Okay. That's definitely mixed with Spanish right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
su país o a su pueblo. He says that today he is so happy because you are here in Palenque, uh, knowing about our cultures and traditions. For that reason, he's happy today. Y pues en el día de hoy vas a interactuar con una de las manifestaciones más importantes de nuestra comunidad, lo que es la musicalidad palenquera. And today you are going to know more about traditional music from Palenque. Okay. Y pues cabe resaltar que la musicalidad palenquera se encuentra en todos los espacios de la comunidad. So in Palenque we use music for everything. When we are happy, when we are sad, we use music. Okay. Y pues la musicalidad palenquera es dividida en dos ramas. Donde la primera rama es la rama melancólica. For traditional music is divided in two. The first one is sad music. Eh, ahí podemos encontrar ritmo como eh, el ritmo que expresan tristeza o hacen sentir dolor. The sad music es la rama de Kukori, que muestra todo lo contrario. Pues encontramos ramas que expresan emociones, felicidades, entre otras cosas. One is happy music. For example, when we have a parties or a holidays in the town, we play in a, in a dif different way because we are happy. Y pues el día de hoy le haré muestra de un ritmo melancólico y un ritmo de orgullo para que, o sea, sepa en, en qué tono va el melancólico y en qué tono va el de orgullo. And today he's going to play two songs. The first one is the sad music he's going to play, and the second one is happy music we have in the community. Okay, comenzaremos con un bullerengue. He's going to play bullerengue. Y suena. El bullerengue nace y se crea en el velorio con el fin de darle participación a aquellas mujeres o damas que estuvieran en tiempo de gestación o de embarazo. That's bullerengue, that's the, the way that we play bullerengue. Bullerengue, we usually play bullerengue for women that are uh, pregnant. Uh, it's, it's a friendly way to say goodbye to the new baby in our community. Y ahora pasamos al ritmo de Jorgorio, que es el Mapalé. And now he's going to play a, a song of happy music that is called Mapalé. Y suena así. <música> tiene una connotación diferente, tiene un significado diferente a otras partes fuera de acá. So in Palenque we play mapale in a different way. So this means uh, there are some towns that, that play mapale too, but we play mapale in a different way in Palenque. El mapale en nuestra comunidad muestra un pedacito de esa radiografía que nuestros antepasados vivieron en el tiempo de la esclavización. So, Mapale showed a little about how was the, the situation that our ancestors have lived in the past when they were enslaved in, okay. in Cartagena. Y esta danza la practicaban ellos en sus tiempos libres, no solo porque estaban libres, no solo porque estaban alegres, sino demostrándole ver a los españoles no querer estar esclavizados. So our ancestors used to play mapalef 
in their free time in the parks. That was that was the way that they that they used to to say that they didn't want more slavery for black people in the parks. Y pues esto era un poco de lo que es la musicalidad palenquera y pues es de suma importancia de que esas personas que llegan acá a nuestra comunidad eh, cuando llegan a este espacio se lleven un gran conocimiento del tambor que aprendan algo. That was a little oh, about <coughs> traditional music and it's important that people that come to Palenque learn a little about how to play the drum. Así que estoy a su orden. It's your turn to play the drum. <laughs> We're going to learn a little. <laughs> Ago. Oh, five years ago. You write on YouTube, Graciela Salgado. You're going to find her music. Okay. Traditional music from Polanyi. Oh, really? I have to look that up then. Some on YouTube? Graciela on YouTube, yeah. Okay. Graciela Salgado. The center of the town. Oh, is it? Right here? Okay. In October, October we celebrate the Drones Festival in Polanyi. The musical bands made the representation there, and people is around enjoying that, listening to music and watching that. This is beautiful. <laughs> I definitely gotta get this. That's the founder of the town, Ben Cosbiho. He was from Guinea Bissau, Africa. Wow. And he founded Palenque in 1603 when he escaped from the Spanish people in Cartagena in colonial times. For that reason, Palenque is the first black who respect that bad. We're not Catholic in Palenque. Oh, you're not? No. We believe in our African gases. Oy. Like okay. a chango, yemanja. Because remember that in colonial times, our, our black people, our ancestors, didn't practice that religion. Ah, see, the see. Catholic religion wasn't really good for black people in, 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 in colonial times. But some people go there. Look at that. Posari Medicina. What do you think that, that means? Posari Medicina. Medicina is medicine. Ah, okay. Posari's awesome. awesome. house is the hospital. Oh, that's a hospital? Yeah, from the community. I mean, is, is it still a hospital? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And there is a miss between English and Lengua Palenquera. Sutoma Black Senda Beautiful. Suto black bla. people are beautiful. Ah, Suto Ma Suto and Ma is in Lengua Palenquera. And that's mural is a He's a singer from the community. His name is Nestor, and his popular name in the community is Afroneto. He's the, the boy that made the murals, that paint the murals in the community. He sings hip hop bath in lingua palenquera. What is this? That's the house of the band, Conviles Ami. Okay. When they practice. Ah, he's there. That's the, the to play their music. That's the band. Hmm. I, I, I keep this? No, it's for you. We don't have police here. You don't have police? No. We have something called Guardia Cimarrona. They are all police. La Guardia Cimarrona is a group of men and women from the community. 
that they work like a police, but they, they are not police. They don't use guns or something like that. When it happens something bad, they go to the problem and try to solve the problems. They are from the community. Because in the past, our ancestors didn't have police. Okay. They used to solve the problems by themselves, with a police or something like that. That's the justice house. Oh, okay. The court? Yeah. Okay. When it happens something in the community, people come here to solve the problem. The mayor or the inspector is from the community too. Oh, so this is like the city, the yeah. city center, basically. That's right. Okay. Right. And it's cheaper too. It's, it's, it's for free here. Oh, it's free. Okay. For example, in Cartagena, you have to pay to for be that. okay. But there is something traditional. It's common that people here say that when they die, oh, when, when I die, please take me to my town. Ah, I see, okay. For example, me, when I, when, when I, I, I have to come to my town. Okay. When I die in the field. So when you die, you want to be buried here? Yeah, I okay. be here. Okay. Because we think that when you die, you are from Palenque, you are going to meet with your families, with your or people from your family that that died a long time ago. Ah. You are going to, that's a traditional house from the community. Almost every house in Palenque was in that wave in the past. The palm tree and goes down the wall. Does it leak? No leak, no water to get through? No? Yeah. No leak? No, no, leak like water. Rain when it rains? No, no, no. No, really? It's safe, no problem. Okay. It's colder than that house, for example. Mm. Oh. His name is Leider Jose Ortega Reyes and he works here in the Mission House. To explain about the Mission House. Well, the Casa Museo is a space of salvaguarda, the patrimony material of the culture palenquera. The Mission House is a, is a place that we use to, to try to preserve the traditions from Palenque. Preserving a vivienda traditional de bareque y palma. That house is made with natural materials, with palm tree and wood and cows down. Los elementos que la conforman de algunas manifestaciones culturales de Palenque. And some uh, traditional manifestation from the town. Por ejemplo, esta pared está hecha por tres elementos. For example, the wall is made with three elements. El primer elemento es lata. The first one is lata, it's a kind of wood. El segundo elemento es barro. The second one is map. Y el tercer y último elemento son estos que de vaca. And the wall is made with cow's dung. Oh, is it? There is cow's dung. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, Nuestra oh, cubierta oh. está hecha en pan. <laughs> okay. The fruit is no, made no, okay. with, with palm tree. A palm tree, okay. La parte permite que el lugar sea mucho más fresco. For the reason you can see that the house is, is, is cool, it's a little cool. Yeah. Las sillas son llamadas taburete. That's the traditional chairs that we have. We call that taburete. De madera y cuero de vaca. They are made with cow skin and wood. También tenemos acá la tinaja. That's a traditional refrigerator. Oh, we call that tinaja. In the past, or people from Palenque used that to keep water because it keeps the water cool, a little, a little cool. They still use it? Yeah. Okay. Eh, a nosotros, en el tiempo de esclavitud, nos impusieron mucho el catolicismo. So, in slavery times, 
the Spanish people forced us to, to practice the Catholic religion. Por eso están viendo cuadros católicos acá. For the reason you can see some Catholic pictures in the wall. Pero eso no quiere decir que no estamos católicos. But it doesn't mean that we are Catholic. No tenemos su propio ritual fúnebre que es el Lumbalú. So for example, we have our traditional ritual that is called Lumbalú. Lumbalú es que te acompaña el momento hasta más allá. It's the way that we say goodbye when someone dies in the community. We play the drum and we sing to it's something sad. We just play that when someone dies in the community. Bueno, miramos acá este cuadro. Acá tenemos un cuadro que representa los que nada. Look at that picture. This is a, a hair style. La cual jugaron un papel muy importante en la época de la esclavitud. Hair style were so important for black people in slavery times. Porque ya están nuestras palenqueras, que eran las que más tenían acceso a la casa de nuestros colonizadores. Because uh, women used their hair styles like a map in the in slavery times. That was a strategy to escape. Like, like a what? Like a map. A map? Yeah. I thought that's what I thought you said. That was important because they used some hair to say like a map. Uh, the other black leaders, black people used that to escape. To escape from the Spanish people in oh, Cartagena. Wow. Los peinados también sirvieron para guardar semillas dentro de ellos. And they used to keep six too into the hair sides. You know, six to get food when they escape. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It was so important in the past. ¿Tienes alguna pregunta? You have a question? No, no. Pasamos acá. Go to the bedroom. To the oh. bedroom. Bueno, como lo pueden ver, La casa solamente cuenta con un cuarto y una sala. En el cuarto dormía el padre o la madre en la cama de lienzo. En el bedroom here used to live the the fathers, the father and the mother used lienzo, to, que to es drink here. Resistente. It's a strong. Oh, okay, really? okay. Strong. <laughs> what is it made out of? It's made with what is it? Lienzo. 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 Sí. Lienzo and wood. Okay. Acá también tenemos la estera donde dormían los niños. There is a mobile bed and Kicks used to, to drink here, to drink here. Okay. Dormía en el suelo. On the floor. Las estas son totalmente tejidas por el agua. That's the material that we use to make the, the mobile bed. That is called iraca. Okay. La tejen de esta manera. That feature shows the process. Estas son actividades que hacen nuestros usuarios para transmitir ese conocimiento a la nueva generación. That is an activity that the oldest people from the community do. And they try to, to teach the new, the new generation, the uh, kids, to teach them how to make it, to preserve the tradition. Now? Even now? Yeah. That's the traditional closet that our ancestors used. They used to clip the clothes there and important things. Oh. Sí, pero cuando estén trabajando, que se sintieran deshidratados, puede llegar a su calabaza y tomar de esa agua que llevaba. We call that calabaza, and there is a traditional bath. Then they used to go to the forest to work. They used to keep water here. Sí, acá también tenemos la marímbula de simancón, usaba del simanca. Esta la marímbula es un instrumento musical que hace papel del bajo en la agrupación del sexteto tabalá. We call that a musical instrument, marimbula. Oh, it's an instrument? Yeah, it's an instrument. It's from Africa. Okay. Sí, esta marimbula tiene aproximadamente 25 años. Oh, he's not playing. And some musical groups from the community use that, that instrument here in Palenque. Okay. Marimbula. It's like a the bass in a... They still use it today? Yes. And did the uh, other guy have one in his house? What's yeah. his name? Yeah, he had one? Okay. Had one there. No. You have a question? Ask her. Okay. No that was a singer from the community. He used to play the marimbula. 
Okay. Oh, oh that, that, okay, yeah. okay. Esta es la parte de la cocina y la vivienda tradicional. Ah, sí. That's the traditional kitchen. Donde vamos a encontrar los niños, hacen papel de la estufa de la vivienda tradicional, echen barro y se cocina bien leña. That's the traditional stuff, it's made with map and we use wood to get the fire. Acá también tenemos el piló, el cual sirve para pilar arroz, maíz, maíz para hacer bollo, para hacer mazamorra. En este caso tenemos arroz. We call that a pilón. That is to, to process the rice and corn too. El arroz es cultivado acá en nuestro pueblo. Mm -hmm. Lo cultivan en la parte más baja y luego lo cortan por punta. Uh, men used to go to the forest and tickle the rice and bring that here. And women used to, to process that. El pilar es una actividad más que todo de las mujeres. That's an activity especially for women. Mm -hmm. Porque el hombre es el encargado de cultivar y Do traer el alimento. Today? Yes. Okay. Y la mujer se encarga de traer. Because de men go to the forest to, to get the rice mm -hmm. and bring that here. And women do the process. Ah, sí. De esta manera. Una vez que tengamos 45 a una hora, utilizaban el balay para After el arroz. One hour, then they use the balay, we call that balay. Me cabipan. La puta, guapa, tato, se me cae. There is to clean the rice. I got a bird here and right here. Yo no te le encargo para movimentar. Sí, pero no te muere poco ya, si me mm. para aquí. The rice. Oh, this is rice here? Yeah. Oh, this is real rice. Okay. What is, what is it? It's the same thing? Okay. Yeah. Así All que, right. ¿tienes alguna pregunta, All inquietud? Right. Son los amarres de la vivienda tradicional. We call that bejuco. That's a material that we use to tie the ah, sí. okay. house. Okay. It's very strong. Buenos días. So that monument is uh, Antonio Cervantes. Kid, his popular name was Kid Pambele. He was the, the first boxing champion from Palenque. He won for 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 Colombia. For Colombia, okay. the first one. Okay. He's from Palenque. Si, si. Yeah. He won in 1972. And when when he won, the first thing that he said was, well, "I won." The Take a picture with her. You can give something volunteer for her. Yeah, I took pictures the other day with the, I got plenty of pictures with the same office. <laughs> so I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, so she wears it, yeah. That's the, the outfit I see. Yeah, I got a lot of pictures. They got me. They got me at the other place. <laughs> Over here. It's recording? Yeah, yeah it's recording. Yeah. Okay. I just moved it out. There you go. I, I, <laughs> okay. There you go. That's, mm -hmm. Thank you. Gracias. Okay.
We are brother and sister too. Okay, okay. Tenga que aprovechar a que está lloviendo. Claro, sí. Oye, espera, no hay bastante. Buenos días. Remember, así en Arilla. Así en Arilla, sí. <risa> <risa> no me acuerdo. Eh, buenos días. Ante todo, me presento. Mi nombre es Pedro Reyes Miranda. Mi nombre es Pedro Reyes Miranda. Médico tradicional de la comunidad de San Basilio y Palenque. Tradicional doctor de la comunidad. El cual. El conocimiento que nos dejaron nuestros antepasados no ha servido a nosotros para protegernos de la pandemia del COVID-19. The knowledge that we have from our ancestor, we use that to protect the community oh, against wow. COVID-19. Sí, sí. De bienvenida, le vamos a darle un té muy especial. The welcome is going to give you a special tea. Hecho de lemon. Made with lemon. Menta. Mint. Cinnamon, cinnamon, sugar, sugar, en un litro de agua. With one litre of water. Es un té caliente. It's a hot tea. Que sirve para protegernos del COVID. It's, it's to protect against COVID-19. Protect against what? To protect uh, for COVID-19. Okay. Avoid COVID-19. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> Oh, very hot. Está bien hecho. Sí, caliente. Really hot. Definitely hot. Well, it smells good, though. Salud. Salud. Salud, numano mi. Numano mi is my brother. I oh, mean, oh, you said that numano mi. Y que nuestros dioses nos protejan. The our God protects us. Oh, wow. We call that plant Bejuco Cadena in our community. El cual utilizamos como protección. We use that for protection. Sirve para proteger tu casa. To protect your house. Proteger tu negocio. Protect your business. Y apartarlo de mala energía. And avoid bad energies. Y en la línea medicinal. In medicinal line. Este bejuco lo utilizamos para personas que son diabéticos. We use that for diabetic people. Con esto hago un té. We make a tea. Y lo pongo a hervir en un litro de agua. We make a tea with one litre of water. Por 20 minutos. For 20 minutes. Y las personas que son diabéticos and lo pueden tomar tres veces al día. And diabetic people has to drink three Durante times a day. Durante todo el año. For all year. Oregano lips. Chocolatillo. Chocolatillo. Anamu. An Anamu. Esto lo utilizamos para el COVID. We use that for COVID-19 too. Oh, okay. Con esto hacemos un té. We make a tea. Y lo ponemos a hervir en un litro de agua. We make a tea with one litre of water. Con un pedacito de panela. With a piece of sugar cane. Por 10 minutos. For 10 minutes. Y la persona que tienen tos o COVID. And people that have bad cough for COVID-19. Lo pueden tomar tres veces al día. Have to drink three times a day. Ron compuesto. En nuestra comunidad esto lo utilizamos como antídoto. We use that like antidote in our community. Sirve para mordedura de serpiente. For snake bites. Picadura de mosquito. Mosquito bites. Scorpion. Scorpion bites. Araña. Spider bites. También sirve para dolor de cabeza. And it's good for headache too. También lo utilizamos para dolencia en los huesos. We use that for pains on your bones too. A diferencia de esta. And they have another one. Tenemos esta, más conocida como contra o botella dulce. We call that contra or sweet butter. Sirve para purificar nuestro cuerpo. It's to purify our body. Sirve para proteger nuestro cuerpo. To protect our body. Y también nos sirve como afrodisia. And it's afrodisia too. Si desea degustar a probar nuestra bebida típica. If you want to try your traditional drink. Bebida right. tradicional. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. I, yeah. Oh, in a cup, okay. Ooh. 
smell it. <laughs> Still it's definitely alcohol. It's definitely alcohol. Okay. All right. Okay. So, salute. Salute. Salut. Salut numano mi. Sunaru numano mi. Arriba. Arriba. Abajo. Abajo. Al centro. Al centro. Y pa dentro. Y pa dentro. Uh, de un solo sorbo. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Strong. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. También, así como me enseñaron esos conocimientos de medicina tradicional, tengo una pequeña escuela de formación. Is it that he has a, a group of kids that come here to learn how to use the medicinal plants and okay. stuff like that? El cual that. le transmite esos conocimientos a 14 niños. That for kids that come here is the way that they use to preserve the tradition. Okay. Para que Teaching. aprendan el uso y manejo de plantas medicinales. Teaching the new generation how to use the medicinal plants. También tenemos otro conocimiento. And we have another knowledge too. Que nos enseñaron nuestro antepasado. From our ancestors. Con lo que tiene que ver con los amules de protección. So amulets or bracelets is to from protection. El cual ese tipo de manilla que tienen en la mano. This kind of bracelet that you have on your hand. En combinación con este aceite hoyo. Means with that oil. Le dan poderes de protección. Give the bracelet the bracelet powers. El cual en nuestra comunidad lo utilizamos para proteger nuestro cuerpo de mala energía. We use that for protection and avoid bad energies para la vida for life para el amor for love para los negocios and for business y para la suerte and for love el cual también va acompañado de un rezo de nuestros dioses and they make a pride from our African gods too si desea ir protegido puede hacerlo if you want to get that protection from Palenque you can do it el cual ese tipo de amule this kind of bracelets acá lo vendemos a 20,000 pesos they sell that for 20,000 pesos Hola. Hola. Welcome to my family. Oh. <laughs> Hola. Look at that. Oh, wow. Does he do that every day? Yeah, every day. Oh, okay. Come on, super. Wow. Super, you're going to get out. Look at that. Siga. Go ahead. Some people here used to make food fried eggs. Some people say that when we made the food and the traditional stuff, it's more delicious than in in a, in a modern stuff. <laughs> people say that. I don't know if it's true. For me, it's true. It's more it, delicious. You think? Okay. Yeah. We have some cow and kitchen chicken. Chicken, <laughs> pigs. You got everything dogs, back here. So you want eggs? Eggs? Wavo. Yeah, eggs, eggs. from. Egg. from yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah. There is common in, in, in the houses in Palenque. Is where people get the fish from? Is there a water there nearby? There is a, a, small, a small river from. Oh, it's Palenque. a small river, okay. People go there okay. and buy from the fish from the soil. What are you talking, guys? Por aquí, 
Despegar, se ponen que se ayude de recorrer y arrancar. Oh, no sobra un poquito de tiempo. ¿Qué es eso? 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 ¿Qué es Ah, oh, si, sí, la gente ahí en Cartagena. Bueno, me estoy para ver la marca. ¿Cómo no? Me ayuda aquí a hacer oficio. Es un buen Bueno, la noticia que tuvo por aquí. Ajá. No, arregla la raja que está ahí. Ahí, esperaron. Ahí, esperaron, te va a arreglar. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that's your aunt or is it, that's your aunt? Yes, aunt? Yes. Okay, that's your mother's sister. Yeah, that's okay. Your next time to see the drunk festival and everything. Oh, the festival is in October? Yeah, in October, the second one. Ah, week. okay. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I like that. Everyone has a horse? A lot of you have horses right yes, here? Yes. Oh, wow, okay. Almost every, every kid here knows how to ride. Oh, really? Everybody knows how to ride? Oh, wow, that's cool. You know how to ride one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they start going to the to the forest since they really young. Okay. So it's going to the, the forest to work. Ah, okay. They start learning how to to work. Let's go to the cultural house. Let's go to the house. Okay. When we have an important event okay. or something like that, we come here. Ah, the idea is to see some, some video with dances. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is that a certain time of year or just? At the same time. When Someone important from the government ah, comes okay. to the community. Okay. He's here, that's the, the place. The president. It's a nice place. It's really nice, actually. Caballito, alegría, amarindo y coco. Caballito, and it's called alegría. Alegría, okay. It is, uh, it's made with tamarind and okay. coconut. And what is it? There is made with coconut Guayaba, too, coco. and coconut milk, papaya, and there is coconut Oh, this is not made with coconut milk? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ten thousand pesos. Tengo que estar más bonita. Está arriba para una bolsita. Está arriba para una bolsita.